Thousands of Fort Meade commuters that use Maryland 198 from Laurel have been forced to take a detour this week. Heavy rains washed away an entire piece of the road just minutes from the post. The video is courtesy of WTOP.com news reporter Melissa Howell. According to most reports, it could take weeks to repair. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Corvius announces their annual scholarship winners. There's a military spouse town hall coming up, and Club Meet is hosting a big-time comedy show. These stories and more, but first, a Fort Meade command that spreads across 26 states, stretching from Maine to the Florida Keys, and includes Puerto Rico and Cuba. The Army Public Health Command Atlantic held a change of command ceremony this week. Colonel Patrick Donahue assumed command from Colonel James Grady. The commanding general of the Regional Health Command Atlantic, Brigadier General Talita Crosland, officiated. Our command here at Fort Meade is ultimately responsible for preventive medicine, veterinary services, obviously, and health promotion for a vast area encompassing more than 200 installations in 26 states, Puerto Rico and Cuba. Um, and I want to underscore that. We, that kind of rolled off, off my tongue, but I, I don't think many folks appreciate the vastness of this command and what they do for both the Army and the Department of Defense. Public Health Command Atlantic, always remember your purpose and be proud of it. For it is an honorable one with a proud history it's truly been an honor and privilege serving with you. Thomas Edison once said, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will educate his patients in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the cause and prevention of disease, end quote. The goal is to, is to promote better health, a system of health, ready and resilient, and thereby prevent illness and other ailments. All of us who are part of this command must have this as our goal, recognizing that it is in by part our individual and collective efforts that we will one day see Edison's prediction become a reality. In other news, Army Community Service and the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service of Baltimore are once again offering anyone in the Fort Meade community interested in U.S. citizenship an opportunity to meet with Immigration Service staff individually to address specific needs such as immigration forms, citizenship packets, and green cards. ACS Relocation Program Manager Pam Anderson says it's designed to help put together the initial package and more. If they are uh, seeking to put a packet together, uh, what, what uh, forms are to be used, uh, if they're in need of a green card, or anything of that nature. Um, and basically the process of how to, how to build that packet. Uh, what is their next step afterwards um, in gaining citizenship? I would like to encourage all to attend. I think it's going to be a great event. The citizenship event is free and open to all service members, their families, retirees, and DOD ID card holders. Important, you must make an appointment. Call ACS at 301-677-5590. Elsewhere, Building Healthy Military Communities is a DOD pilot program launched last year that aims to connect service members and their families with resources and improve readiness. Locally, Building Healthy Military Communities is hosting a military spouse town hall on Wednesday, June 13th. It's taking place at the Army Reserve Center just across Maryland 175 from the installation from 6 to 8 p.m. Meanwhile, the Corvius Foundation, the charitable arm of Corvius, has awarded college scholarships of up to $50,000 to three outstanding students in the Fort Meade community. Haley Filippi is from Meade High School. She plans to study biology at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. Alicia Mitchell is also from Meade High. She'll pursue her goal of becoming a surgeon starting at UCLA. And Andrew Chafos from Mount St. Joseph High School plans to study math and computer science at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Congratulations to all the winners. A final note from MWR and Club B, the 2018 Army Entertainment Comedy Tour is coming to Fort Meade on Saturday, June 16th. The show is headlined by Carlos Mencia. Mencia had his own show on Comedy Central, The Mind of Mencia. Tickets are on sale at Club Meade. For details, go to www.me.armymwr.com. That's Meade Week for this week. We're going to close with this preview from the Army Entertainment Comedy Tour. Be advised, the subject material is adult in nature. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great mead week. Do you have a problem with that? Where are you going to put them? On the side of the seat where I put all the other ones. It's like a game. They get crunchy, then you flick them off. It's perfect. Uh, real quick, before we get uh, started, this is my voice all the time. <laughs> not coming down with something, not getting over something, and didn't just watch a Honey Boo Boo marathon. Biggest reason I'm over Facebook is like now, when I get on Facebook, it's like every girl that I went to high school with is now pregnant. Yeah. And not only they're pregnant, they're posing with their stomach like it's a new Gucci bag or something. Just